dude. I have my next load is a dry load. They're like, it needs to be clean and dry. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I'm here in the morning on, uh, what is the day? The 30th of April, April, which is the French say. I'm just kidding. All right, so I got a load. I'm not like super, not super excited about it. It's not like uh, I'm gonna be getting rich off it, um, but it might be a relationship in the works. So I won't talk a ton about it because it could could blossom into something bigger. But it's picking up in Sturgis, Kentucky, and uh, it's going to Lawrence, Kansas. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much of the video I would put in yesterday, but uh, on that project trailer, I was hauling some aluminum and I blew a brake chamber. So luckily it just, the diaphragm blew, but it wasn't lo losing enough air to, um, wasn't losing enough air to make it lock me down. So I was able to drive, but it was hissing through the trailer brakes the whole time. Um, yeah, so pickups from eight until 11 for the starters thing. And I can run it straight through to Kansas by tonight at 9 PM. So let's see if I can do that. Here we are in Sturgis, Kentucky. Um, kind of, man, I'm like kind of regretting this load a little bit because I think I've, every so often I make a choice out of desperation to take a load on a Monday. Like Mondays are my worst days for dispatching. Like I just get, I get so desperate. And this was no exception because this load definitely was not paying great. And the guy says he's got five to 10 of these a day, but I don't know if that offsets it. I'll load it up here in uh, Sturgis, Kentucky. Yeah, I was backing in here. If you own your own equipment, specifically um, a dry van trailer, the, the tandems can slide, the, the rear set of wheels. You know, there's eight wheels back there, eight tires, and they can slide to adjust and move the weight. Um, and think of it like a teeter-totter. You know, if you have a, something in the middle, it tilts easy. Here, you know, it's still whatever. But at the very end, the whole thing tilts as one. So whenever he's loading, I always try, no matter where I'm at, to get loaded with the tandems all the way to the rear so that it puts equal pressure on everything so whenever it's here, it makes the trailer get flex, right? Whenever he comes on, it makes the trailer floor like that and then puts the pressure on the thing. So you see these, these trailer floors, where do they start getting holes at first? Right here, because they didn't get, they didn't slide their tandems. But also, I mean, you understand it would be like every single time you get loaded, you have to remember to do that. That's how I am, but yeah, some people don't think about that. It helps your trailer last longer. Unless you got an old clapped out trailer already, it may not even matter. <laughs> a lot of places make you do it. I was starting to do it and this guy's like, no, you don't need to. And I was like, ah, it's my trailer. I, you know, it's hard on it to not slide the tandems. So he's like, all right, whatever. And anyway, got about eight hour, eight hour drive here. Something like that, I don't know. Seven, eight, nine maybe. Depends on how slow I go. Going through some uh, country roads for 20, 30, 40 miles. So let's get the tandem slid, door shut. And all that. Also, when you're going to slide your tandems, make sure you uh, get enough air supplied to the trailer before trying to get the tandems to slide. I usually just try to let it air fully up, which you can tell by the air dryer going off. Here in a second. Where's it at? It's also airing this up, so it takes a little longer to hit it. There we go. So I turn it off. Our seal. Get our glove. Ah, the reason I turn off the truck is because there's no reason to leave it running at that point. And uh, yeah, save on fuel. 
it's not really all at once because it's only going to be a few teaspoons or whatever but over time over time oh man yikes dude that sucks i have to have a dude what the dude dude I have my next load is a dry load. They're like, it needs to be clean and dry. Dude. All right, so that was not cool. My next load is, uh, I just booked it, like before I got loaded, or like as I was getting loaded, and it's food grade something, so now I'm gonna have to He said that Menards is gonna let me borrow a mop and bucket or something like that. I'm like, dude, whatever, man. So now I'm gonna have to clean the trailer floor after and whatever. One of those days, I'm just ready to get to like Thursday. I'll probably be done working after Thursday because I've got a ride this weekend dirt bike event Saturday, Sunday in Renfro Valley, Kentucky. And uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Much more fun than this. So let me get the navigation pulled up, logs running and all that. And uh, see you on the time lapse. All right, since we're not a huge time crunch, I'm gonna go in here at this uh, Phillips 66 roadie and get some, uh, maybe get a sandwich or something, but my wife packed a ton of food for me, so probably not, but I do have to use the restroom, so go ahead and use the restroom for probably the last time. Oh, that load I had coming back that's food grade got canceled. Lovely. My weekly load cancellation. Uh, I don't know what it is, people. I don't know. That's okay. That's okay because I was just stressing about it. But it was paying eleven hundred bucks, and there's nothing like that on the board now. The load board, the board of loads. So anyway, look at this sick truck. Camera W900 with the aero top. That's the one. I, that's how I would have it. Save what you can on fuel in the hole. It's a custom, custom rig. Oh, that thing's beautiful. But there's a reason he's at the fuel island and I'm parked over here. It's because he needs fuel and I don't. But rest my case. See you in a sec. Why are we stopped right now? Um, because a cop pulled a semi over. And then there was an oversized load. And I guess they can't get by. Because <laughs> we're on one lane. So I don't know if you can see going on or yonder cop pulled over and then there's a mobile home getting towed just in front of this truck uh the joys of trucking looks like we're moving a little bit all right here we are uh in menards Lawrence, Kansas. First time in Kansas. Pretty cool. That's another reason I took this load. I'm always down for an experience, you know what I mean? Everything else is boring stuff I'd already done. Um, yeah. Backing in, they're gonna break the seal. Should check my paperwork. And uh, they look like they'll be pretty ready for me. I already have the door open and they're looking out there. So, just need to get it backed up enough to I guess for them to verify the seal and then yeah, I'd, I'd have it uh, I would have it on the GoPro right now but GoPro's SD card is full it just said so not gonna work pretty chill drive if you saw 
nothing crazy happened. I had to stop there in, I think, Kansas City. If you saw me pull over for a second, I uh, had to uh, re-zip tie my side fairing. It was about to fall off. Bad design on Volvo's part. Those freaking side fairings um, are kind of kind of a pain. I go video the seal being intact. Look at that. How nice. Getting unloaded here. Uh... Yeah, she started raining. And they have the sirens going on. I'm getting the alerts on my phone that I should be somewhere secure and safe. Um... Oh, that's funny because the driver's over there. Well, it's done downpouring. So now I'm gonna get back to eating my ribs. That made me go inside. <laughs> All emptied out here in Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah. So, interesting day for sure. Pretty chill drive. And tomorrow, I don't know if I've told you, we got a load that I'm gonna head to right now. It is a five stopper. So I get loaded and then go to five different stops. Going to three, four places in Missouri and then one stop in Indiana and Terre Haute. About 100 miles-ish, maybe 110 miles north of Evansville. And so I should be finishing that out. Uh, most of the stops tomorrow and then probably one or two on Thursday. And I'll either grab something going home or grab something going to Indy or take something from Indy going back south to Evansville and then hang it up for the week because I've got to uh, got a ride this weekend in Kentucky. So let's pull out from the dock here and see what the damage is on all that dirt and stuff they had in there. Yikes. Let's get everything brushed over here. Or maybe over here. <sighs> At least I'm doing a nursery stop with some flowers tomorrow and it doesn't have to be spotless. Unloaded here and uh, rolling out with my last 45 minutes of time to the next shipper for tomorrow. Um, it is in Ottawa, Kansas, but man, look at this. So much prettier in person. It's just like a golden haze sent from God after all that rain. So I don't have time to dally. I gotta get moving and grooving into this next place. I think it's only about 35 minutes, 30, 30 minutes away. So that's good because I only have 40 minutes of drive time. So see you in there. So uh, I'm here at this Walmart. I'm gonna restock on some uh, water, which is frustrating because my uh, wife got me water at home. <laughs> but I'm out now and I gotta get some. So I'm, I'm either gonna get a case or maybe just a few larger bottles. But I mean, I went through, it's been a long day. I've probably gone through 10 water bottles. 
Anyway, we're about two miles away from the nursery place. I don't know if there's parking outside. We may sleep here because it looks like there's some trucks parked here. And uh, Love is across the way. Just a bunch of places to park. See some people parked over near the hotel. Yeah, I'm not worried about parking. There's parking all over. That's Kansas for you, I guess. Big, wide, open. Everything looks exactly the same. I, I couldn't tell you this city versus the next versus the next. I mean, I, they, it all looks identical, especially at night. But, uh, yeah, so that was kind of, I mean, I wasn't super stoked about taking that load, especially once it turned out to be pretty dirty. Um, the only good part is that it's straight through, and it will always be straight through because it's mostly all going to Menards, all, that, all those loads he has. But, I don't know, coming out to this area, I had to get lucky to get a reload, and I don't really like driving for that rate. I won't even say what it is. It's embarrassing. But it is above, like, I mean, obviously I'm making money. It's well above my cost. <clears throat> I'm just not getting rich off it. It's not four bucks a mile. So, yeah, not that you have to get rich off everything, but it was just like this morning I opened the board, and I, I should never do this, but, like, from Evansville, there were a couple like better loads I should have I would have sooner taken than this one but he said they have it often but after I started like really thinking about it after driving an hour or 40 like dead hitting 40 miles it was really killing it I mean in a bad way like I think it, at least if it was in Evansville that'd be one thing but it's not it's it's in Sturgis Kentucky so I don't know you can't win them all there's his first trip to Kansas wanted to see what it was like nothing special just like most of the states <laughs> but anyhow appreciate you tagging along with me almost to that 500 subscriber mark maybe by the time this video comes out i will be maybe i'd have to have 85 more i think i'm at like 415 right now so uh, appreciate you watching i really do i'm gonna start getting out some videos that are not just my daily stuff i'll start putting out some more informative videos maybe just to change it up a little so for now though Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.